First look at the Pixel Experience Beta ROM based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Pixel Experience Beta ROM based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Let me make a few things clear before we dive into the first look. First, how do you install this ROM? I have a separate video for that which is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. Second thing, this is a beta build so do not expect everything to be working perfectly. Third, what is the SOT on this build? This build was released a few hours ago. I do not have the SOT for this and I won't have it down the line as well because I flashed too many ROMs on my POCO F1. Fourth thing, there will be no benchmark tests. Why? Because this is a beta ROM and the thermals are broken as of now. The fifth thing, make sure you read the pinned comment because there will be important information in that pinned comment things change a lot and what is not working in this first look video might be fixed down the line so i'll update those things in the pinned comment and the last thing is that do note this is the pixel experience normal edition this is not the plus edition so you won't have the features which you have in plus edition all those things out of the way let us now dive into our first look so this is how Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10 comes out of the box. You have your Android 10 recents in the building. If you tap on the icon, you get the option for App Info and Split Screen. And if you have an application which won't work in Split Screen like the camera application, then you will get the option for App Info and Pause application. Let us now dive into the settings. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices. We'll go into apps and notifications and see what all apps come baked in with Pixel Experience Android 10 ROM. So you have calculator, calendar, camera application, Google Chrome, clock, contacts, digital well-being, files application, FM radio, Google keyboard, Google Play Store was installed, Google Play services were installed, messages app, phone app, the photos app, Pixel launcher in the building, which means Android 10 gestures will work out of the box like a champ. Then you have settings, sounds and wallpapers do note all of these applications are google apps so phone is from google the photos app the messaging app all the applications which come out of the box on a google pixel device are baked into the pixel experience rom next up you have the option of notifications so you can choose notifications from applications if you want to say turn off notifications from google play store you can turn them off using this toggle then what all content you want to see on the lock screen you have all the three options if you want to show sensitive content on the lock screen or not you can choose that using this toggle if you click on advanced you can enable or disable notification snoozing suggested action and replies notification dot blink light which is the led light on the poco f1 what is the default notification sound you can change that as well and you can also turn on and off your do not disturb. Next up, we have screen time. We'll talk more about this in digital well-being. You can also configure your default apps. So make sure that the phone application is set as the default caller ID and spam application. And then you have permission manager. From here in, you can configure the permissions to various sensors. So for example, the camera, right? So all these applications right now have access to the camera which is the camera application itself, the messages app, the phone app and the settings app. Google Chrome and Google app do not have access to the camera application. You can configure the same for microphone and all the other options which you see on the permission manager page. Then you can configure your emergency alerts, what kind of alerts you want to see and your vibration preferences for alerts. Next up in settings, we have battery so in battery you have battery saver you can turn on or turn off your battery saver if you turn on your battery saver you saw that it switched over to dark theme so that's how they save battery if you want to schedule your battery saver you can do that as well 
so you can do it either based on your routine or you can do it based on the percentage you have all these options next up we have the option of adaptive battery so this is something which google added with android 9.0 pi and with this feature if the phone detects that there's a rogue application on your phone which is draining excessive battery then that application is reported and you can take appropriate action next you have last full charge and your screen usage time so the option for showing battery percentage is missing i hope they do add it down the line next option we have is sound so if you go into sound you can configure your media volume call volume ring volume vibrate for calls your do not disturb your phone ringtone your default notification sound what is your default alarm sound and you can also configure the other system sounds and vibrations whether you want dial pad tones or not screen locking sounds charging sounds and vibration touch sounds and touch vibration and of course you can also change your volume from the volume rockers if you click on this icon you can also change the media volume call volume ring volume so you don't necessarily have to go into settings and sound to configure all these things you can actually just click on the volume rocker then click on this icon and change all these options so that's all for sound and of course in my excitement on making a video about pixel experience android 10 rom i totally skipped over display so we'll go back into display and see all the options we have you have the option of changing the brightness level whether you want to use night light or not so you can schedule your night light based on a specific time or from sunset to sunrise or you can just turn it on right away then you have the option of adaptive brightness this is wherein the phone has machine learning and it learns your brightness preferences in different environments once you're back in that specific environment your brightness will automatically adjust to that level you can also change your wallpapers you do have a few wallpapers baked in no live wallpapers which i could find and you also have dark theme in the building of course you know biggest feature of android 10 dark theme working like a champ your quick settings panel are in dark your volume rockers will also be in dark and if you want to change your accent colors then you will have to enable developer options and once you're in developer options you can scroll down and there will be a section for theming wherein you can change the accent color you can see right now i have the green accent color so we can change it to something else let's try ocean and bam the accent color changed you can also change the font and you can also change your icon sizes so let's check right now we have the circular icons and we can change it to say rounded rectangle go back to the home screen and bam our icons also changed so you can change your theme and another thing which i would like to add is that once you enable dark theme your boot animation will automatically change to the dark boot animation so a pretty nifty feature then you have screen timeout what screen timeout we want you want it in seconds or you want it in minutes whether you want auto rotate screen or not what is the font size you're looking for what is the display size you're looking for your screen saver and then we have lock screen display so once you're in lock screen display you can configure what all content you want to see on the lock screen whether you want to see all the content sensitive content or no content at all if you want to add users from the lock screen or not what is the lock screen message you want if you want to see the lockdown option on lock screen or not whether you want your phone to wake up for new notifications or not and then if you click on advanced settings you can configure whether you want your phone to pulse for new notifications when you pick up the phone hand wave will pulse your notification when you wave your hand and if you want to pulse your notifications on removal from your pocket these are all the options you have and then you have double tap to wake as well so we can check that right away double tap to wake works like a boss so double tap to wake is working and if i tap on the sensor the screen should wake up there it is so pocket removal and your wave to hand will also work absolutely fine so that's it for display let's go back and then we already discussed sound nothing much to talk about in storage in privacy this is a new menu which google added with android 10 so you have your Permission manager, we already talked about this. I'm not sure why Google hasn't removed this option from here. Whether you want to see your password characters when you type your passwords, lock screen, we already talked about that. Third time I'm seeing this option. 
Automess, Google, Automess. Then you can choose your autofill services of Google, location history, activity controls, advertisements, and usage and diagnostics. Nothing much to talk about in location. Then we move over to security. So screen lock using pin is working. Screen lock using fingerprint is working like a boss. And the bad news is that face unlock is not working. Why is that? That is because with the Google Pixel 4 coming up with the Soli radar and new face unlock, they decided to remove the face unlock option from smart lock, which is why face unlock is not working as of now, but I'm pretty sure that our custom ROM developers will add that option back once you know they have a stable base. As for voice match, here's the good news though that voice match is working. So the phone is turned off and let me try it. Okay, Google and bam, there it is. You can see that voice match is working like a boss. So you win some, you lose some. We did lose out on, you know, face unlock for now, but voice match is working. And that's it for, you know, security. Nothing much to talk about in accounts, accessibility. You have digital well-being in the building, working absolutely fine. It will tell you how many unlocks you've had, how many notifications you've had, what is your dashboard. If you want to set a timer for a specific application, you can do it over here. You have the option of wind down, which will, you know, set a bedtime schedule for you if you want that. You can also manage your notifications. So if you do not want notifications from specific applications, you can do that from here. You can configure your do not disturb calls, SMS exception settings. All those things are now in digital well-being. Next up, we dive into system. You have gestures, jump to camera is working. And in system navigation, you can choose between three different kinds of navigation options. You have gesture navigation, which I'm using right now, Android 10 gestures in the building. Then you have two button navigation, Android Pi gestures, and the three button navigation, the old school gestures. So you can choose whichever floats your boat and whatever you are comfortable with. So this is it for, you know, all the options which you get in Pixel Experience Android 10 ROM. We can also check out the Google camera. So we'll check out the version. So the Google camera version, which is installed on this build right now is Google camera 6.2. The only bug which I could find with this build is that you cannot record videos. For that, you'll have to use open camera for now. You know, it's gonna take some time for the developers to iron out all the bugs. So we have to be patient. And Google camera 7.0, which was leaked yesterday, from the Google Pixel 4 is also not working. So Gcam 7.0 is not working at the time of recording this video. However, if things change down the line, you will find the link to the working Google camera 7.0 in the pinned comment. As for ANX camera, that is also not yet compatible with Android 10. So that is also not working. Another thing is that you do not have the option of three finger screenshot and screen recorder. I think all those options will be added in the plus version of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10. Other than that, the ROM is Play Store certified, which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. And you should also be able to restore your installed apps on initial setup. And last but not the least, if you want to hide the notch, you'll have to enable developer options and then you'll have the option of hiding the notch. So this is the option you're looking for, display cutout. Right now it is set to device default. You can choose to hide it and bam, the notch is now hidden. So that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.